Why hello tube. Today we got Lost Horizon by James Hilton. Have you ever bought a book and thought, oh this this is a slam dunk. This is going to be an awesome read. And then thoroughly disappointed. That's what this is for me. Like I don't even I don't even feel like talking about it, to be honest. But we're gonna try. Uh, uh, James Hilton. He was born September 9th, nineteen hundred, in Leigh, UK. Died December twentieth, nineteen fifty four, in the LBC. I think he was the original original singer for Sublime. Uh, best known for Lost Horizon. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Like, I'm just reading my notes because that's just how much I don't care about this book. <laughs> Lost Horizon. Uh, originally published in 1933. It had a movie in 1937. And it sold a bajillion copies because it was the first, at least U.S., mass market paperback. So, like, anybody could afford to own this book <sighs> yeah I know a lot of disappointed people out there now, actually it, it was pretty well loved I think was it Roosevelt uh, Nick, nicknamed uh, is it Camp David Shangri-La in honor of this horrendous book So, this book's a cluster. Where should we start? So you're not actually hearing this story for uh, from the person. It was a manuscript written down by somebody who met Hugh Conway, and it was the manuscript was given to a uh, was it a neuroside uh, neurologist yeah at a dinner party in in Germany so there's a group of people that were on their way to Peshawar when their plane was hijacked and it was flown to Tibet where it crash landed <sighs> the pilot his last dying words were go seek help at Shangri-La. So this group, they go to Shangri-La, they find it. And, uh, long story short, because I'm just over this book already. The Dalai Lama, uh, maybe, not the Dalai Lama, the Lama at this Shangri-La Lamastery is dying. He knows he's dying. And he leaves the uh, Lamastery to Hugh Conway. I mean, just think about it. You know, the Dalai Lama, say he's on his deathbed, and he just stumbles upon this random Englishman. Wouldn't he have this random Englishman, you know, lead his people? makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I think I'm just cursed when it comes to English authors, because, you know, I always hear all these people that, you know, they love Anthony Trollope, and they love Charles Dickens, and they love, uh, What's Your Face? And every time I try and read them, I'm always like either bored out of my mind or disappointed. I think there's something wrong with me. I think there is. Well, I mean, I know there's something wrong with me, but I, I, I think I'm just doomed to not like English lit. I'll tell you what, though. Saturday. Saturday, we're going to be talking about... I 
knock that book off a hundred times a day. I probably shouldn't even lean it up there, but Saturday I'm going to be talking about the first short story in this book, and oh my god, it blew my mind. Thank you, Borges, for lifting me up out of this depressing book, Lost Horizon. That's it for this one, peeps. Let, ugh. Let me pick up my... My kids got me that for Father's Day, so I can't leave it on the floor. I, on a, I don't even know why I even tried to make a video on this book, because I was just really not feeling it. I wanted to try and talk about all the books that I read, the good and the bad. Uh, usually, typically, if I'm not liking a book, like... Lost Horizons by James Hilton. I don't even finish it, but this book was a whopping hundred and we'll just say it was 190 pages, and it took me about two weeks to read, which is incredibly sad. But I'm like, I'll just read a few pages a day. I'll get through this, and hopefully, it'll the ending will just knock my socks off. And no, no, it did not. That's it for this one, peeps. If you watched 6 minutes and 30 seconds of this, well, first of all, thank you. And secondly, there are a million other videos out there you could have watched in the, in the last minute and 6 minutes and 43 seconds. So, it says something about you, too. That's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.